because it's like that there is a father, but he does not have no connection to his children. He's not able to see them, to support them, to love them, to share with them, or that they will do the same with him. So what exactly is his position as a father, if not nothing? The system of godliness is the existence of the faith in godliness. So for godliness to be revealed, there need to be an existence to its faith. Means you need to have people to believe in it. If there is a God, but he is unseen and unrecognized and unbelieved in, so it is as if there is no God, God forbid. Because it's like that there is a father, but he does not have no connection to his children. He's not able to see them, to support them, to love them, to share with them, or that they will do the same with him. So what exactly is his position as a father, if not nothing? So godliness revealing is when there are believers who are following its faith as it should be to his perfection and like that it is the most suitable thing to believe in the perfection of faith it's supposed to be that way that believers will believe in the maker and that the maker will receive his glory as he's supposed to and also for us it's it's a noble purpose for me it's like it's sanity it's like it's normal like you have a parent so you won't like appreciate him as your parent like you won't be grateful to have him in your life there is a maker now isn't it the most simple and basic and normal and understandable and fundamental thing that you will believe in him and follow him yeah he made you he created you it's not like oh yeah he's here and now i can do whatever i like no he made you there is a purpose to your existence there are secrets and there's a an essence to each and every organ it's been created in a certain form with a certain nature with certain skills and powers and, and energy it has missions and you just need to discover them to find them to understand them and to use them properly